In this video, we're going to assess the difference between a theorem and a postulate. So what is the difference between a theorem and a postulate? Well, a theorem is something that we can uh, prove to be true, a statement that can be proven to be true, and usually it's in an if-then form. A postulate, again, is we can put it in an if-then form. Um, and a postulate is something that we accept to be true. It's a statement that we just originally accept to be true. And so what's really the difference between them, okay, is not much except that we have postulates are basically the building blocks of theorems now again both these terms are something that people use to maybe like you can you can sound very smart by actually stating things like oh by this postulate or by this theorem and it's, it's used a lot when it's not really something's not necessarily proven true or accepted to be true etc but again we can really think of postulates as the building blocks or the axioms both true, uh, terms are used interchangeably versus a theorem so a lot of times these are the building blocks for our theorems and then once we've proven something to be true um, we don't reprove it every time. So there's certain theorems that are going to come about that we will prove to be true. And once we've proven them to be true, we can just use them as a, um, just use them in everyday life without actually like reproving it every single time. That'd be a waste of time. Um, so again, postulates are a little building blocks. There's a, you know, we use that for buildings, things that we accept to be true. There's certain things, mathematics that we, we, we have to just accept to be true. We can't, um, we can't just start with them uh, to be like already as a proof because there's certain the, the building blocks we just have to have the basics like hey we accept these things to be true but we know them to be true um, and a lot of times different postulates depending on um, a lot of times like you'll see in your math books if you're the high school level versus the college level there's some things at the high school level that are considered postulates because to prove them it uses a lot of upper level math that a high school student wouldn't be able to do. And then you find out if you go to college and study more mathematics, then it will be called a theorem later on. Uh, but that's just a um, nitpicky thing. So anyway, a lot of these are used in what we call an if-then form. Okay, we're stating the if-then form. So like, if something happens, then something else will happen. We call those a conditional statement, a conditional statement. So a lot of times you'll see it as if P then Q. Again, I like these lowercase. So if P then Q, these are just our statement here. So if such and such happens, then so and so will happen. Um, so for example, um, we can use a conditional statement that's a true statement like, if an angle is a right angle, okay, then, then what, would it, what do we know about it? Then its measure is 90 degrees, okay? This is just an if-then statement, and so most theorems and postulates will be written in this if-then form, that if an angle is a right angle, then its measure is 90 degrees. I'm not saying that this is a theorem or a postulate, I'm just giving you the form of usually these are written. I hope this video is informative, and thank you for watching.